Thank you, Acting Deputy President. Uh, at the last election, or just during the campaign, uh, the member for Braddon and I went to Queenstown in support of the Queenstown Council to make a commitment of $3 million to support the expansion of the Queenstown Hospital for additional aged care beds. It's been an issue that uh, the Queenstown Council and the community had been uh, chasing for a period of time. Uh, and in fact, uh, my colleagues opposite had been chasing us uh, on the behalf of the Queenstown Council. Now, those additional four aged care beds remain important for that community on the west coast of Tasmania. Um, the opposition, then opposition, now government, didn't match the $3 million commitment that uh, we made at the time, uh, but I'm urging them to step up and support the Tasmanian government, the, the Queenstown community, uh, to achieve those additional four aged care beds. The funding is available. The money is there. The coalition put it in the budget before the last election. It's been budgeted for. It would be very easy for Labor to step up, support the Queenstown Council, the, state, the Tasmania government and the Queenstown community and those who want to age in their communities on the west coast of Tasmania. It would be very easy for the government to step up and support this project. It's an important one. It's an important one. The Queenstown community deserve it. It's still a priority of the West Coast Council. Uh, it's something that the Tasmanian government is happy to facilitate. And all it needs is the new government to allocate some of the funding that we all know is there to support the Twin Queenstown Senator community Colbert. to get those extra... Senator O'Neill. Thank you very much, uh, Acting Deputy President. And uh, I rise